This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone, welcome to our webinar on simulation of composite materials with Compson Water Physics. My name is Arpad Forberger and I'm an application engineer at Gamax Laboratory Solutions LTD. Today we are going to take a look at Compson and how to set up physics for composite materials and relevant multi-physics couplings. I will walk us through some models to give you a chance to see the software up close and see how it might help you in your work. And today's webinar are going to, to set up a brief introduction. What is COMSOL and what can you do with that? Uh, what is the composite materials module? What physics features are available there? I will show us through some demos and I will wrap up my presentation at the end of the summary section. So what is COMSOL multiphysics? COMSOL is a multiphysics modeling simulation and application design environment where all of the steps of a simulation are integrated into one user interface from the initial setup to the solvers to post-processing to putting together a custom-built application. A COMSOL model allows you to couple together physical effects the way they are in the real world, which we refer to as multiphysics. Once you have completed your console simulation, the software also allows you to create a customized app from the model, which enables you to deploy the analysis capabilities and results to collaborators, customers, or even colleagues around the world. This is our product suite. We have add-on products that can be combined with the console multi-physics core package to enable simulation of specific physics phenomena across a range of application areas. These can all be combined with each other. We have modules for electrical, fluid, heat, mechanical, acoustics, and chemical simulations, as well as several multipurpose modules and tools for interfacing with external software. Comsol is very flexible. It contains many predefined physics interfaces, but also allows you to define your own custom physics and equations. And today's focus is on the features and multi-physics capabilities of the composite materials module. Once you have done with your simulation, you can share your results with others, with customers, with colleagues. You can use the Comsol compiler to create standalone applications, or you can create an app that can be accessed from a Comsol server or from a web browser, wherever you are in the world. So you can create your simulation, you can be the finite element modeling expert, you can build a customized graphical user interface, and you can distribute the solution to different vendors or colleagues. And the Comsol compiler, which is a new add-on to Comsol Multiphysics, you can create standalone applications for all the three platforms, whether it's a Windows, a Linux, or a Mac OS application. So to run that application, that executable, you don't need a license file, and you can do it in all the three platforms. And it can be purchased separately on top of Comsol Multiphysics. So what is the Composite Materials module? The Composite Materials module is an add-on to the Structure Mechanics module that brings you modeling tools and functionality tailored for analyzing layered composite structures. Some of the common examples of layered composite materials are fiber reinforced plastic, laminated plates, and sandwich panels. These layered composite materials are widely used in manufacturing aircraft components, spacecraft components, wind turbine blades, automobile components, buildings, boat hulls, bicycles, and safety equipment. The composite materials module utilizes specialized layered material technology and provides two approaches that you can use to accurately model composite shells, layer-wise theory and equivalent single layer theory. Additionally, when you combine the composite materials module with other modules from the Comsol product suite, you can extend your models to include heat transfer, electromagnetics and fluid flow effects, all within the same simulation environment. And you can also do failure analysis 
And if you want to create a micro or a macro mechanical analysis, that's also possible. So you can calculate and create the homogenized material properties of a composite structure. And at the end of the webinar, I will show up some multi-physics analysis capabilities for heat transfer, acoustics, and fluid flow. So we will use this feature in the model, which is a continuity feature. So you can combine two different stacks with different number of layers of composite materials. So this is available through the continuity feature, which will be available soon in the model. So we can model the drop-off, apply drop-off scenario. This is the case what we want to introduce in our first model. Okay. So we will have some nice pre-processing tools to visualize the layout of the stacks of the composite materials. And also we have some nice post-processing parts like the through thickness plot, where you can plot the stress distribution in the vertical direction through the thickness of the composite material. So this will be our first demo, how to do this in Compton Multiphysics. So if we jump into Comsol and select a 3D domain, then from the structure mechanics branch, you can select the layer shell interface. That's the new add-on to the composite materials module. And then we will select the stationary study node. On top of that, you can also create eigenfrequency frequency or frequency domain calculation if you have an excited system or you can do a full time dependent analysis. So we have one single physics interface, which is the layer shell interface. So we need to draw some geometry and assign materials to the corresponding sections. So from the geometry side, we will create two simple rectangles. So we will create a work plane in the next Y plane, and we will create two identical squares, let's say, for simplicity, we draw just simple squares. So that's our first one. We can visualize it in 3D. Okay, and we simply duplicate this one and move in the next direction to 10 centimeters. So this will be the middle plane of our composite materials. Since we are using this layered shell technology, we need to draw only the middle planes of the composite materials. So we don't need to draw 3D geometry and we don't need to create 3D meshes here. So from the geometry side, we are done. From the materials side, we need to add the layered material and we can have several layers with different rotations. So if we have an orthotropic material, we can define the rotation of the fibers, the thickness, and you can have many of these layers and you can also import this list from a text file. So we will assign materials to the layers. For simplicity, we will have the same material for each layer, but we will have multiple layers here. So we can simply visualize, we have one single layer and we can also create a stack plot. So we have these very nice pre-processing features here. So we will duplicate this and this. So now we have three of these and you can see an indication, a red, a little red arrow, which one is the first layer and which is the direction of the thickness here. And of course you can change the angle of the corresponding fibers. Okay, so we have one layered material. We simply duplicate this one and remove the middle one. So for the second layer material, we need only two of these materials. Okay, so we have two layered materials. We have one simple geometry. And then we can assign 
the layered materials to each of these squares. So under component materials, we can create layered materials stacks. So we can create stacks. So first stack is assigned to the left side. And by default, it has one link to the layered material one. We simple duplicate this one, let it be layered material two. And we also duplicate the first one. And then here we can visualize how it looks like. So this is how we stack together three different predefined layered materials. So the first three and the last three are the same one from the layered material one that's linked here with the three layers and the middle one is linked to the layered material two, which has two separate layers. And this layer material stack one is assigned to the left hand side. We do this and duplicate and assign that one to the right hand side to the other square. And we simply remove the middle layer just to make some difference here. Delete, we simply delete that one. We can also visualize. Okay, so we have two separate materials with the same three layers each. So we have stack one on the left hand side and we have stack two on the right hand side. Okay, so materials are done. So we have the layer shell interface. We can simply visualize how it looks like. As you can see, currently they are not connected. They are two in the, uh, independent materials. So we need to connect them together to make uh, one and unified composite material. So we can add the so-called continuity boundary condition from the available options. And we simply select the source is the stack one, which is on the left hand side. And the destination is the stack two, which is on the right hand side. Console automatically detects and assigns the layers, how they are connected. And you can visualize, of course, what is the default connection. So by default, the middle one is disabled since on the right hand side that layer is missing so we can use this for our simulation purposes if you are not satisfied with the offset values you can overwrite and add different offset properties as we have seen in this slide so you can add the different connection settings you can make your own choice here so we will go with this. We are happy with this connection and we can add two more boundary conditions. One is a fixed constraint. So we need to fix, let's say the left end of this composite structure. So no displacements are allowed here. And we add the simple boundary load on the right hand side. And let's say it's a total force in the Z direction, let's say 10 Newtons. And since we are using uh, non-isotrope materials, but orthotrope materials here in the linear elastic material model, we need to change the default isotropic model to orthotropic. So if we go back to our layered materials and our one single material, you can see that these Young's modulus and shear modulus values now are a matrix representation since we have an orthotropic material. So that's the physics setup, one continuity between the two stacks and one fixed constraint and one boundary load on the right hand side. So we can simply compute and go for the stationary solution. And with a few steps, we will see some default plots. <clears throat> so this is the equivalent stress, the von Mises stress. 
in Pascals, and of course, we can enlarge the thickness. By default, it uses a scalar value, but we can uh, overwrite it to put 10 here to make it thicker. We get a better visual representation of this composite material. So we can see how the stresses are changing through our composite material. And we have some other default plots. We have a stress slice default plot. And what's another nice feature is the true thickness plot. So we can select a point where we would like to visualize the stress distribution. So remove that point and select that one in the middle where the two stacks are connected. And let's see how the stress is changing. So here on the horizontal axis, you can see the equivalent Mises stress distribution and the vertical, which is a logical representation of the thickness. So from the middle bottommost uh, point through the topmost layer, you can see how the stress is changing and how you have and where you have the singularities and jumps in the stress distribution since you have several layers of these composite materials. And as we have seen, we have uh, uh, multi-physics coupling features, so you can easily create uh, couplings to acoustics, fluid flow, or Joule heating examples. So we can create a Joule heating multi-physics example like you would do with an ordinary structure mechanics example. So here we have the layer shell interface where we are going for the structural displacements. We have a heat transfer since we have some temperature distribution. We have a fixed temperature on the left hand side that's room temperature and heat flux. And we have an electric currents layered shell interface. So we have a ground on the right hand side and we have an electric potential on the left hand side. So we have this delta V electric potential difference, difference between the two edges. We have some voltage or current distribution and we will have some temperature change. So we can see how the voltage or the potential is changing through the composite material. And we can see the temperature distribution. And uh, since it's a composite material, we have a bending moment acting on our material. So you can calculate the displacement field and of course the equivalent stresses in such a composite material. And you can also couple to to fluid, to CFD models quite easily with the fluid structure interaction, predefined physics node. So we have a shell interface, which is a single middle layer. You don't need to create 3D domains. And here we have a layered material we can visualize how it looks like. We have several layers in this composite material. And this single layer is fixed on the bottom. So it's fixed to the ground. And from the laminar flow interface, we have an inlet on the left-hand side. So we have an inner low velocity profile and we have a simple outlet on the right-hand side. And we have a simple fluid structure interaction coupling to couple the two different physics into one multi-physics example. Okay. So you can create multi-physics models quite easily like coupling the electric currents layer shell interface to the heat transfer in shells interface with the layer shell interface that prescribes this new uh, layered shell technology in Compson Multiphysics and in the comp Composite Materials module. And you can create composite material modules coupled to acoustics field. That's also possible. 
more built-in tutorial models will be released soon. You can check console.com for more of these models. And of course, if you are requested, we will send you those models through the follow-up email. And on top of acoustics and dual heating, you can couple to fluid domains to CFD calculations. So you can create <coughs> fluid structure interaction models in console multiphysics as you would do with a simple structure mechanics physics interface. So this composite materials module allows you lots of different new techniques. There are two theories, the equivalent single layer and the layer wise theory. Those are implemented currently in Compson Multiphysics. You can quite easily set up composite materials for orthotropic material models, for modeling orthotropic materials. You can add multiphysics uh, on top of this layered shell interface. And you can find more at the dedicated landing page of the composite materials module. And we will send you some links, some more advanced links to investigate. And if you are more interested on those models, you can find uh, at the website or you can write directly to us or you can find those models at our website. And if you would like to try out the software or if you have any questions regarding the composite materials module or any more physical simulations with the uh, Comsom Multiphysics, feel free to contact us. So I wrap up my demo. Uh, thank you for your attention and see you at our next webinar.